Hey everyone, since we are in Q2 result season, I thought of doing a quick video on companies that have posted great results and they are available at attractive valuation. Although since there is a sharp rally in last six months, obviously the attractiveness has reduced, but still I identified a few companies that have posted stealer number and valuations are still looking decent. Of course, this is not an exhaustive list because we are still in the result season, but I thought of doing review of results that have been declared so far. So the first result, which is uh, phenomenal, is from Angel One, uh, basically a wealth management company, one of the top brokerage houses, uh, basically at third number after your Grow Zero Da. Angel One is at third number, and uh, if you look at the financial metric of Angel One, its revenue has grown 29.8 percent quarter on quarter, and its PAT has grown 37.9 percent quarter on quarter. So brilliant performance if you look at all the metrics uh, on all parameter. If you look at active client metrics, if you look at uh, transaction metric on all parameter, company has outperformed. In fact, if you look at the India's incremental demat account in Q2 of FI24, company has got 22% share. So, and the best part is, if you look at the growth prospect, Angel One is not just limited to a brokerage company. If you look at it, it's got the broking business, of course, currently that contribute the maximum part, more than 90% of the revenue. But apart from that, it has also got a lot of other things like your wealth management service, then your asset management service, then mutual fund distribution. So all in all, the point is that the future of Angel One is looking very bright. Company is growing at a consistent growth rate. And the fact that the wealth management and overall financial market in India has got a huge growth potential. In fact, I was going through one of the news article and Mr. Dinesh Thakkar from Angel One is saying that over the next five to seven years, we want broking revenue to be below 50% of total revenue. So that's the growth plan because they are introducing insurance product. They are uh, starting the lending business by end of this fiscal year. And of course, insurance, you're introducing your AMC and wealth management business. So all in all, looking very promising, results are good. Now, if you look at the share price movement, uh, in last one year, Angel One share price did fell from highs of 1600 to levels of 1000. But since then, in last uh, seven, eight months, it's been more than two times growth, especially after the Q2 results. So after the results, company has uh, uh, share prices jumped nearly from levels of 2100 to currently at 2500. The interesting part is that in spite of that, company is trading at a PE of 20.8. So valuations are still looking attractive. And company command a market cap of around 21,000 crore. So it's a mid-cap company and the potential is looking immense. In fact, after the Q2 results, I updated on my uh, tweet as well, where I mentioned about uh, its uh, phenomenal performance. Uh, by the way, off late, I'm very active on Twitter. Uh, in case you want to stay relevant with the latest update, identify the next opportunity. I think it is very important to be on Twitter and uh, track the market in the real time. So if you are interested, I'll provide the link of my account and I'm sure you'll find a lot of good account to follow on uh, Twitter. Uh, next, we have got results of Equita Small Finance. So if you look at the financials, the PAT has grown nearly 70% uh, year on year. And if you look at the net interest margin stood at 8.4%, return on asset is at 2.3 uh, versus 1.6 and return on equity is 14.6 versus 10.5. So profitability has increased significantly. If you look at the asset offering, gross advances has grown from 22,000 crore to 31,000 crore. The deposits have grown from 21,000 crore to 30,000. So phenomenal growth in your advances as well as deposits. Uh, net net, I think uh, Equitas has given brilliant performance. If you look at the asset quality, its uh, net NP is now at 0.9% versus 1.93%. So asset quality has improved big time. So net net exceptional performance and I was going through one of the news article where uh, Mr. P.N. Vasudevan, Equitas MD has said that demand is not a constraint. We see 25% growth every year. So that gives a very good visibility in terms of what you can expect from Equitas. And the fact is that the financial sector as a whole in, is looking very, very promising because of the upcycle that we have mentioned in the previous videos also. See, we are in a CAPEX cycle, the asset qualities are at all time low and there is very good demand. So all these factors are going to drive the financial market and uh, the interesting part is the valuations are still looking attractive. Uh, in fact, I recently did a video on uh, Equitas uh, as well, along with the video on comparison of uh, small finance bank. So if you look at Equitas small finance, its market cap is just 10,000 crore, 
price to earning is 13.8 and price to book is of 2. So that is very, very important. The valuations are looking very attractive. If you look at the share price in last one year, there's a pretty good rally. Stock has almost doubled. But recently, if you look at it, from the highs of 100, it has fallen to levels of around 92. So valuation wise, it is looking attractive. Results are good and the future potential is looking very, very promising. Next, we have got third name is of Signed, an engineering company also into your digital uh, space. And if you look at the revenue growth, its revenues have grown 22.3% year on year. EBITDA has uh, jumped by 406 basis point year on year and your uh, PAT is up by 70.8% year on year. So brilliant performance, free cash flow is up by 166% year on year. And uh, basically company is into your engineering work, manufacturing, digital, semiconductor and geospatial. And it has got 29 fortune companies out of 500 as its client. As far as its near term growth prospect is concerned, Mr. Krishna Bodhanapu, the executive vice chairman and MD of uh, Science says that uh, we have, we expect the growth in the range of 15 to 20 percent in constant currency and to be at the lower end of this range. So this will give you a fair understanding in terms of uh, what you can expect in the near term. Net net results are excellent. Valuations if you look at it. So Scient is now trading at uh, levels of, so it's a market cap of around 18,000 crore, uh, currently trading at 1600. Uh, levels and again in one year the growth has been phenomenal almost stock has doubled uh, but the best part is the valuations are still looking decent at a p of 26 and the best part is uh, the future prospects are very bright for the company so this is uh, the next stock uh, another stock in the list is tanla platform company's uh, revenues have grown by 18.5 percent year on year its ebitda is up by 19.5 percent gross profits are up 34.3 percent and your PAT is up 14.1% and its free cash flow is at around 131 crore at, which is 92% of its PAT, its cash is at 545 crore. Now if you look at the key update, there's a very significant update from uh, uh, Tanla where it has been recognized as a visionary in Gartner Magic Quadrant for CPAS Industry 2023. This is the latest data. Uh, Gartner is by the way one of the most recognized uh, firm and this Magic Quadrant is reviewed by every company and uh, if you look at visionary, Tanla platform is right there. So this is a big achievement and this is for all global uh, players, not just limited to India. Of course, Twilio is at number one, but Tanla being recognized as a visionary is a very, very positive sign for the company. And uh, if you look at the valuation and the share price, uh, we discussed it uh, in the past also. So uh, if you look at the share price, it's been after a sharp fall to levels of 500, it significantly jumped to levels of 1200. Although from those levels, there's a good correction and uh, currently it is trading at levels of 980. The interesting part is the valuations are looking attractive at a P of 25.6, market cap is 13,000 crore and after the good result and positive commentary, I think that Tanla has got good prospect to generate decent return. But folks, this is just a disclaimer that this is not a buy or sell call. The idea is to help you identify the good performance companies and of course you got to do your research before investing your money. So please do your research. Uh, don't just blindly invest based on this analysis. Uh, by the way, like I said, I keep uh, posting these updates on Twitter. So I posted about Tanla also, Equitas also. So if you are looking for real-time update, I would uh, strongly suggest uh, looking at this uh, uh, Twitter profile. Uh, apart from this, uh, just a quick update on Wisely ATP. So if you remember, Tanla discussed about the anti-phishing software and uh, management is saying that we are in the final lag of commercial discussion and uh, commercial closure with leading banks in India. So if everything goes right, we should be able to go live during Q3. Uh, so as and when uh, we'll get the update, uh, they'll let you know. So uh, this is again a positive sign. Companies expecting to go live uh, during Q3, which is the uh, current quarter. So we'll keep a close eye on uh, results. Uh, next, we have got results of Credit Access Grameen. Again, this is one company that I recently covered in depth on my YouTube channel. If you look at the gross loan of the company, it's grown 36% year on year. Then borrowers uh, profile is up by 21.2%. Disbursements are up 13.5%. Then your pre-provision uh, operating profit are at 68.3%. Then PAT is up 98%. So PAT has almost doubled and net interest margins are up 111 basis point. Return on asset is at 5.6%, which is 170 basis point up. 
रिटर्न ऑन इक्विटी एट ट्वेंटी फोर पॉइंट सेवन अगेन एट बेसिस पॉइंट अप सो इट्स बीन अ फिनमिनल परफॉर्मेंस फ्रॉम क्रेडिट एक्सेस ग्रामीण and the interesting part is the uh, management guidance so if you look at it gross loan portfolio uh, growth has been uh, so fr24 guidance was 24 to 25% and the revised guidance is also the same but if you look at the net interest margin the guidance has improved so from 12. Point, uh, to 12.22 it has improved to 12.7 to 12.8 then cost to income ratio from 35 to 36 to 31 so that has reduced which is positive then if you look at return on asset from 4.7 to 4.9 it has increased to 5.4 to 5.6 return on equity from 20 to 21 to now 24 to 25 so the management guidance has uh, revised and uh, the only thing is after the result uh, we did not see any correction in spite of uh, those 3 4 bad days uh, credit access gramin uh, share price uh, held its uh, ground so if we just look at uh, share price currently it is at 1571 If you look at it, in spite of the correction recently, the share price did not correct. So after the result, share jumped quickly, and uh, currently it is at fifteen hundred seventy. Again, in last one year, the growth has been pretty good, especially in the last six months, where uh, majority of good companies have jumped a lot. But the interesting part is, company is a mid cap company at a market cap of around twenty five thousand crore. Stock P is around twenty one. and price to book of 4.3 so overall like i said the microfinance industry as a whole is looking very very attractive because of this up cycle yes at the same time there are risk so i have done an in depth video if you want to do analyze and understand the prospect and the risk i would strongly recommend watching the video uh, next we have got results of icic bank uh, another brilliant set of numbers from icic bank earnings are up 35.7% year on year then deposits are up uh, Uh, 18.8% year on year and advances overall are up around 19-20% year on year so that's a very good number and if you look at the asset quality it is uh, net np is at 0.43 versus 0 so asset quality is at top notch level a uh, very good asset quality then uh, if you look at uh, profit after tax it's jumped by 35.8% year on year and uh, if you look at the share price uh, of uh, icic bank it is uh, currently trading at levels of 900 so it's been almost quite a long time since a company has been consolidating in fact now back to its one year level and the best part its valuation p is 15.9 price to book is now at 2.97 so consistently company has been posting good numbers but since the share price has not been growing price to book was at 3.8 earlier and now it is at a 2.97 so extremely attractive uh, again do your research uh, before investing but personally i think uh, i say say bank is looking very very promising the interesting part is it's not just the bank it's a uh, parent company of all the subsidiaries that include your i say say prudential life insurance general insurance asset management i say say security home finance and all of these companies are doing well so if you look at quarter on quarter all of these companies have done very well as compared to q1 or q2 of uh, fr23 uh, okay next we have got results of federal bank So uh, again, I've done in-depth video on Federal Bank. Uh, if you look at uh, the deposits, uh, they've grown by 23% year on year, 5% quarter on quarter. Advances have grown 20% year on year, and profitability. Uh, if you look at the ROE, it's grown from 14.3 to 15.7, and return on asset has grown from 1.2 to 1.36. So on all parameters, uh, it's looking very very promising. Net net, the profit has grown by 35% year on year. So this is year on year, and net NP. If you look at it from levels of 0.78, it is at 0.64. So again, very good asset quality. Uh, in fact, it has got the lowest NP in last 34 quarter. If you look at the valuation, Federal Bank is currently trading at levels of around 140, and uh, again, there's not much uh, movement. Uh, in fact, year ago it was at levels of 130. So it's been a flattish uh, one year of performance in terms of share price. but the interesting part is again it's a small mid cap company and the pe is 9.2 and the price to book is one of the most attractive in the entire banking space at 1.33 so that is the reason i think uh, the prospects are bright company is fundamentally super strong and valuations are looking attractive uh, results have been fantastic okay next results we have is got uh, sona blw uh, again uh, very good performance year on year revenues have grown by 20% and the ebita 
has grown by 35 percent year on year. Uh, PAT is up by 34 percent. Uh, and mind you, this is the difficult time, uh, especially in the Europe. So net net, the performance has been brilliant. The interesting part is its electric vehicle share is now increased to 27 percent. So this is one company which is uh, one of the proxy for EV play in your auto component company, one of the leading player in EV space. And that is the reason I think uh, looking very, very promising. In fact, its EV segment has grown 58% year on year, which is growing at a very fast rate. Now, if you look at the share price of Sona BLW, currently, if you look at one year of performance, it did fell down to levels of 400 during the March period and then jumped to levels of around 600. From there, there's a good correction to levels of 500. Of course, after the result, there's a up movement and currently it is trading at levels of 550, which is still looking attractive. Now, if you look at the P, of course, at 68, P would look expensive. But look at the way P ratio has fallen for the company. At one point in time, it was at P of 200. From there, it has now fallen to P of 68. Its median P is 86. See, this is a growth company, a leader in the space. And since the prospects of electric vehicle and for this company are very bright, it will command a premium. And so if you look at it from the median perspective, the valuations are looking attractive. And from all parameters, it's a brilliant company. And especially after the correction from the highs of uh, uh, 600 plus, I think uh, the valuation, in fact, it touched the levels of 789 uh, in December 71. So from there, uh, those levels, the share price has corrected, P has corrected significantly and looking at track after the uh, latest results. Next, we have got results of Sonata software. Since the entire IT sector has been down, uh, there was not much expectation, but then its sales has grown by 28%. Abita is up by 28%. So that's brilliant number considering the fact that the entire IT sector has been struggling because of slowdown in the US. Net profit is up by 10%, which is okay. Uh, if you look at the prospects, company is currently at $0.92 billion dollar in FI23 and its plan for next 3-4 year is to become 1.5 billion. So a significant growth uh, company is expecting in next 3-4 uh, years. Now if you look at the share price, Sonata software is currently trading at levels of 1178. Again in last one year it's been a consistent performance uh, more than double the share price but the interesting part is in spite of this growth, valuation is at P of 34.7, market cap is 16,000 so still a small to mid cap company. Uh, which suggests there is more upside and uh, the kind of growth company is showing, the potential it is showing and the valuation it has got, I think uh, it is looking uh, attractive. Uh, all right, next results we have got is from Home First. So if you look at the asset manager management, it has grown 33.3% year on year. This is year on year, 7.6% quarter on quarter. Disbursements are up 36.6%. Again, if you recall, I did a video on the entire comparison of uh, your Home First and your Avas and uh, three, four companies in your affordable housing finance. And uh, I suggested that this is one of the great company. If you look at uh, the return on equity, it is at 15.6%, which is up 250 basis point year on year. Return on asset is at 3.8%. And uh, if you look at the gross NPA, it is at 1.7, which is down by 20 basis point. Uh, profit after tax is at 743 million, which is 74 crore it is up 36.9% so another billion performance from home first and uh, if you look at the share price movement so this is again one company that recently had its ipo uh, it's in uh, february 21 at levels of 547 so it's just the beginning of its uh, investment stock market journey uh, sh share is currently trading at levels of around uh, uh, 950 at a price to earning of 31 and uh, price to book of 4.3 market cap of 8400 crore uh, we discussed already the kind of potential I see in the affordable housing finance and that's where I think the growth prospects are bright, the results are fantastic, valuations are decent, of course it will command certain premium because of uh, its niche in the business. So net net uh, looking attractive. Uh, this is just a quick summary, uh, we have got Equita, Sonata Software, ICICI Bank, Federal Bank, Sona BLW, Credit Access Grameen, Angel One, Tanla, Scient and Home First. By the way, I also have an Excel tracker that I'm maintaining for all the quarterly results uh, with my uh, comments, whether the results are good, bad as compared to the valuations and of course my comment. So this is basically for the people who have subscribed to the, my weekly video, uh, which is available on my website. So in this uh, weekly series, I keep a close on the quarterly results. I also discuss about the stocks that I am buying my investment strategy. And again, not a buy or sell call. This is purely for educational purpose. This goes in depth.
of course the youtube video i do that are at high level but then uh, i go in depth in my weekly series so if you are interested have got that seriousness for uh, long term investment i think that can help you but net net this is uh, the list of 10 companies that have posted great numbers looking attractive in terms of valuation apart from that few more numbers uh, one of them is newgen has posted phenomenal number uh, where uh, the pat is up at around 29% a uh, brilliant number then if you look at the revenue is up 25% year on year uh, but just that newgen share price has jumped quite a lot uh if you recall we are doing uh, we have discussed newgen multiple times also part of my portfolio just a disclaimer and look at this kind of growth from levels of 300 currently it is trading at 1200 so uh, nearly uh, three times growth in uh, its share price that just that the valuation now are looking uh, slightly higher at 43.6 although the potential is still immense because it's still a small cap company then we have got results of dixon which is again brilliant set of number your revenues are up 28% abita is up 37% pat is up 48% so a brilliant set of numbers the just that uh, dixon also command a premium trading at a pe of 104 so that makes it uh, you know uh, slightly uh, expensive uh, just that uh, in fact there was a point when the share fell down a lot but from those lows it has uh, rallied quite a lot Uh, still having said this i think the potential is huge so maybe consider it as a investment in systematic manner or maybe if there's a correction then consider buying it apart from this persistent has posted brilliant set of number where especially when the entire it sector is struggling where its pat is up 21.3% year on year revenues up 14% again the problem is that valuations are uh, slightly expensive uh, for persistent at a pe of 46.6 again now in one year it has rallied from levels of 3700 to currently at 6000 levels and uh, final result is uh, of polycap again part of my portfolio phenomenal numbers uh, q2 number if you look at it top line has grown 27% year on year 8% quarter on quarter ebita has grown 43% year on year 11% quarter on quarter pad is up 59% year on year 7% quarter on quarter the only thing is share price has rallied a lot and uh, if you look at uh, polycap uh, share price it is from the levels of around 2700 it has uh, more than nearly doubled and uh, although there is a slight correction currently trading at levels of around 5000 at a pe of 46.5 i think uh, so again this is uh, the share price has grown quite a lot uh, market cap is at around 75000 crores so it's now kind of a large cap company but i think that uh, this is again uh, a great portfolio great stock in your portfolio and then final result uh, that i want to cover is of titagarh rail which is again one company which uh, we missed it but the results are phenomenal so now i'm tracking it because there is still a lot of scope in the railway premiumization Uh, but then again since the stock has rallied a lot p is at 44 but we'll keep a close eye on this result as well so net net uh, this is uh, just a quick overview of the uh, q2 numbers that have got uh, declared so far and uh, the these are the companies that are looking attractive i hope uh, this video will give you good sense in terms of which companies are doing well so one analysis that you can conclude out of it is clearly that the financial companies are doing very well out of uh, this list you can see you've got equitas I say say bank credit access federal bank and then your home first and angel so these are all uh, related to your banking and financial sector so this will basically help you identify the opportunity in indian market at today's level that's it for this video uh, we'll keep a close on the upcoming results and we'll keep you posted uh, till then stay tuned